Hello everyone. Hello. I am not from the Craig today, I'm Dr. Craig. Oh, okay. Because you had Dr. Soil. Soil. So um, he sent me here to spend some time with you and explain to you how special you are, children. Um, I just want to say thank you for inviting me here. I was here last week just chilling. Who uh, knows, someone here uh, always gets me, so she got me to come back today. Um, and um, wherever children are, I'm happy to be with you. Amen. Now, I just want to say hi to those who are online. I know um, some people, some who have heard of Bricks Kids? Bricks Kids. Who have heard of Bricks Kids? No? You haven't been listening to Adventist Radio Recording now? Recording in progress. No, not that one. <laughs> it always happen. Technology always comes in. Anyway, um, Bricks Kids is a children's ministry. We are on Adventist Radio London every Saturday uh, 4 p.m. Yes. We have a radio program. We do online programming. If you hear of Miss Brenda from 3ABN, we are on her program in the U.S. We have about 14 children who lead this. We started out from the pandemic. Pandemic was good for me. COVID. I love COVID. No, not so. Uh, but during COVID, I had no choice but to do something for children because churches was providing um, programs for adults online, but nothing for children. So I started doing online programs with my wife and my daughter. And my house was turned upside down, became a studio. And then from there, it still is part of a studio now. But from there, we have been doing online ministry. Um, pandemic is over. Mm, so good for me. No, but it's good because now I have to come and see you in person. So I enjoy doing that. Now, um, so online, we have children who are on holiday from Bricks Kids are all over um, different churches. And one of our Bricks Kids I know is watching Jaden and Dora. They are in St. Lucia, just finished running a BBS program um, on their own because we have, I've been doing this over 10 years and it's fun. It's good to see Natalie. You know that's why I'm here. That's why you're here. Um, the Lewises, good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. And I must say um, a special welcome to my co worker, Shalom. What's the way, Shalom? Shalom is living in this area and I said, you know, she's, uh, she's always saying, I'm going to come and visit one of your programs, but she's here. She didn't have a choice of Shalom and not her daughters, her sisters, cousins um, are here visiting today. So, I must say that, um, let's check the time here. It's good timing, yeah? Good timing, so it won't be long. Um, I'm not a mag magician. I don't do magic, so please, I don't know anything magic. I'm a doctor who uses science and technology and object lessons to teach different things. Um, for the Bible, as um, Ellie said, make it fun and interactive. Thank you very much. That was, that's what I do. Who told you that? Me? Mommy. Yeah. <laughs> um, I travel with lots of things, water. Um, as I said, I'm not a mag magician. I just use basic things. John, I'm sorry I borrowed your milk. Is that okay? <laughs> milk. Um, just basic things I would use to help. All of these things you have seen, isn't it? Some of them you might not have seen before, but yeah, there are some things in here that you've seen. And lots of people. Who knows people? Yeah, I have lots of people here. Um, so not, nothing exciting, nothing, nothing. Um, nothing special that I use, you know, just basic things I use, and it's about how do we use these things to teach Jesus. This week, children, you have been on an adventure, digging and searching, and we, I just want to get the adults, because sometimes adults think they are not children anymore, so... Oh, uh, you're big children. So, um, whatever I do is from the Word of God and my special Bible. If you have left your Bible, I have my Bible here, so don't worry. Okay, to start, before I even go into anything, just let me ask you. What number is this? Six. Six? Sure? What is it? Nine. Okay. Could it be anything else? Yeah, it could be six or it could be nine. Could it be anything else? Could it be anything else? 
No, see, that's the problem. We always think of these and there's no other way. No, what if I say, what is this? Huh? A B. A D. Or a B. A B, a D, is it, so was it six, was it nine, was it a B or a six or a D? You see, we have to have our mindset too, that is not only what we see. And this is what I want you to focus on today. What, what, whatever I demonstrate is about having that mindset. You think this is a six? Okay, let me, let me see if you have learned. Um, yeah. M, 3, W. McDonald's, yeah. M and M, yep. Three. E. You get it. You get it, Jeff. So, our mindset. Our mindset is so good that we can see things that nobody else sees. But because you don't see, doesn't mean it's magic. And I'm not doing any magic. We are treasure. We have learned a few things this week, and I want to spend the time sharing it with you. Um, some S's of this week. Some of the S's you have learned already. What so, tell me something that children you have learned. You are learned that you are strong. strong. You learn that you are special. special. Any other S you learn? Smart. Smart. Yes. Any other? No. So I'm going to talk to you about which good. That's a good S, but uh, not the S I'm talking about. Yeah, but that's a good one. We're going to talk about being special, being strong, being smart, being a part of a supportive family, and being sensible. Because I want you to make a sensible choice before I go. I'm going to pray, and then I'm going to ask my daughter who, to sing for us a song to just remind you that whatever we do here, to remind you that you are a treasure. You are a treasure to God. So let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your blessings of the Sabbath. We thank you for taking us all here today. We want to say, we want to give you all. So whatever is presented here today, may it be to your names, honor, and glory. And may souls be blessed. May we never leave here the same. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to ask Jonah to come and start us off with our song, Treasure.
Yes, indeed. We are a treasure. And I just want to remind you of that today. Um, I have my other Bible here, but I always prefer to have Bible, this Bible with uh, my special Bible with me. You see, I try to make the Word of God come alive. I try to make the Word of, of God easy for us to understand. You see, we are all children at heart. Now, in my Bible, see, this is the Bible I have. And in this Bible, what can you see? Nothing. It's blank. Yeah, it's blank. See, that's how some of us look at Bibles. When we read our Bible, we can't see anything. It's blank. And then, we, because we need to read our Bible, well, how often? Every day. Then tomorrow I might get my Bible and I might, yeah, I want to read it again. And all of a sudden, the blank pages, the blank things that we get, starts to turn into something that we can see, isn't it? But if we are reading every day, the Word of God should not just be in black and white. We need a bit of color, a bit of fun. We need to be getting better at understanding because we all need to understand the Bible clearly so that it makes sense to me. You can't come to church, children, and Sabbath and BBS and then think, you know, that's what you're going to learn for the rest of your life. No. You have to keep on reading the Bible because God has given you the Word. So now that you read the Bible, it becomes colorful. And we can start seeing the colors in the Bible. And the stories become colorful again. That's what I try to do with children. And I can see the adults which were the biggest children here go. <laughs> which is what I want from you. But you are special. The Bible says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I have my glass of milk here, children. Psalms um, 139 verse 14 says you are fearful and wonderfully made. It's a glass of milk. Now I have some other glass, by the way. I have some other glass in my, in my, in my, in my bag. I'm going to take them out because when I look at you, I see little children, big children, big adults, little adults. I have been doing this experiment, and um, every time I take a train, I go in the way that is packed. You know what I'm always doing? Looking at people's feet. <laughs> yeah. What? Don't you? No, it's not like that. I'm looking because I'm trying to see the shoes. And I'm looking at, can I look, just look at the foot? and see your shoes and know what that person looks like, where that person was, that person was like, can I? No, but not only that, can I see the same shoes? Somebody wearing the same shoes, am I the same brand, but the same shoes, and I've spent some time doing that. We are all different, we are all unique, we are all special. So, um, and I'm going to say, we are like these uh, glass that I have here in my bag. Um, it's not as big as that one, is it? No. no. And, and some of us feel like that, you know, we look at other people and think, oh, I can't do it because I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not as big as that person. I'm too small here. And, and, and then children, especially children, they think, no, I'm not special at all. Look at me. Look at little me. How can I do anything great? How can I do anything great? And you're asked to do something in church, and do the same thing. You're thinking, I can't sing like Sister Paul and um, dance like, I mean, pray like um, Simone and all of those. What do you do? Don't look at anybody because you are special. Adults and children, you're special. So, if you are a little child and you are given a task to do, it might look very big. But don't say, I can't do it. Just say, Lord, help me to do it. Because you are enough. You are enough. Let's see if I can do the task of having the milk in here. Oh, <laughs> 
you are enough. It doesn't matter your size. It doesn't matter how small you are. I mean, okay, let's think you, you think you're not that small and you think, um, this is, you might think, oh, I have just a little bit. How can I do anything with this little bit? How can I do anything with this little amount? I can, someone, you know, you don't get any money for BBS. I know BBS takes a lot of money and you only get 54. What can I do? Don't worry, just, just go, just go. Just go. It's enough. It's enough. It, it is enough. Trust me, it is enough. Whatever you do. And it doesn't matter what size you are, children. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are unique and special. You, you can. You, you get it, you. Yes. <laughs> you get it, you, right? You get it, you get it, right? Right. So, what are you? You are? Special. And wonderfully made. You are? Special. You are special. And when I say you are special, what do you say? I? Take it. You are special. I think it. Yes. I told you I didn't have any wrinkles, so that's all right. So, first thing I want you to remind you, you are special. I think it. You are special. I think it. You are strong. I think it. Oh, come on. You are strong. I think it. So, let me prove that to you now, that you are strong. As I said, I use a lot of things. Um, paper is one thing I use to, sh to demonstrate that. And you're strong in many ways. So this paper, it's a piece of paper, right? Nothing, nothing special about it. But if I, ha I need to put this water bottle on this paper, what will happen? Let me try that. No, it didn't work. So let's try that again. No. So you say, how can I be strong? When this bottle is so heavy and I'm just so flimsy and me girl can't do anything. The Bible reminds us in Joshua 1 verse 9, it says, I have not commanded you, I have not commanded you, I have not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And my favorite Bible text says, I can do all things. Not some things. I can do all things. Now, how can I do that? There are different ways I can show you how strong this is. I said a water bottle. What about, oh, I'm using some rocks, um, gingers. What if I try the same thing? Is it going to work? No. But what if I tell you that you can? I can pull this, I can use this paper, or a paper like this, to keep up that problem of the table. Let me demonstrate to you. And I, because of that, I've done a bit of a quick shortcut. So if I take the paper and I cut it up into strips like this, right? Cut up into strips like this. It's the same paper, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah because sometimes we just have to change our mindset, change our perspective, change. Remember we talk about what you see, the M and the strip three, yeah. you have to think outside of the box. Yeah. So, I've cut this up, and then what I would do, and because of time, I've done these already, I would just roll them around like this, right? And then I have them in here. So I've done that already. So I have some balloons that I've used. So if I cut them, and I think you can always try this, about eight of these will then pull, be the same size. So how many do I have here? Uh, that's okay. So I have them here. So it's the same paper, isn't it? I just want to hold it above here. So I'm just going to use this piece of card, put it on top. And now I'm going to try to put my water on. Hold on. No, but, but, but I did say the rocks. So let me see if I can put the rocks on it too. Think the rocks will do? Remember, it's the same piece of paper. But let's put the rocks on it. I mean, if I want to get some more rocks, these are heavy rocks, man. I could do that. Still holding it. And I could put more and more. I could hold a lot of load, the same paper. Now, if you didn't believe me, um, let, me let me demonstrate that in another way for you. The same paper, 
sometimes we just need a bit more to us. We have to go some adults, I know you understand this. You go through some trials. So sometimes it's like the bills, I mean, I've been listening to the radio talking about um, the bills going up by, and you know, we start to get back and forth and it's rocking us. And all we have to do is to go with the time, because the Bible says, I can do all things. All things. And you are fearfully yeah? and And another text that I love, it says in Matthew, God made the birds and the flowers. Have you ever seen a bird going to hospital? No. I mean, a bird actually going to the hospital. No. Have you ever seen a bird going to work? No. I, who, say, who said yes? <laughs> I want to know that bird. Um, so, you go to... You never see a bird or a dog, uh, one of those taking themselves anywhere. But if you just go with the time, sometimes you just have to be creased and folded and you know back and forth. And all I'm doing is doing that to my people. And if I continue doing that to the end, I can now stand hold up between any load that I have because I am dealing with the trials of life, they might make me make me crease, they might make me crumble, but here's my other um, bottle, just so I have enough space to show you that yes you can always have lots of bottles here and the cover so they're the same height, yeah that's fine. Now all I have to do and I should be able to hold it I didn't do it properly, but if you do this at home, it should be because it's not even. Oh. It, it didn't come to that quickly. I'm not going to demonstrate, but we are, we are strong. But in fact, let me show you one more thing. I want um, who do you think is the strongest person in here? The strongest person. The strongest person. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on. I love a strong man. Come stand right here beside me, sir. Your name is? Terry. Terry. All right, Terry is very strong. Can I show them your muscle, Terry? Because Terry is so strong, and I need a little child who you don't think they are very strong. All right, come on, come on. All right, so show them your muscle. Yeah, yeah, no, it's Terry and what's your name? Katie, Terry and Katie. Now, I am going to say, you see, sometimes we go in our own strength. Let me be rely on ourselves. Can you hold that and show them? Rely on ourselves, right? But it doesn't matter who do we need to rely on? God. Because God can give us strength. And he can give us power. And with God, we are stronger than we believe and we think and we know. Yes. Don't depend on your own strength. Now, it's a simple task. Two pieces of paper. And we are going to see somebody. You can count him down. In 10, we're going to count from 10 down. And all I want both of you to do is to rip the paper up like just rip it up like this, right? That's all I want you to do. Don't bite it. Don't do anything. It's just your hand just to do this, right? <laughs> Keep on going. Keep going. Keep going. See how many can do it. Keep going. Keep going. Here, three. Ten. Nine. Ten. Nine. Nine. Eight. 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 Seven. Seven. Six. Six. Five. Five. Four. Four. Thank you. Look, 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 look. How many pieces? Look at how many pieces did you do. I thought you were strong. I thought you were You're stronger. Okay, thank you very much. So I, I, have, I have a present for you. Um, I'm going to give you this one present for you. And for you, sir, I'm going to have something to remember you. Okay? Thank you. You see... When he did it the first time, he's like, oh, yeah, 
And then, that's what happened. The devil makes us think oh, it's so easy. And then we start to find difficulties and we can't get into it. God made us strong. God made us special. And we are and one for the one of the main and we are smart. Okay. Um anybody let me see if I have any coins in my pocket. Let me check the time. Okay, time is going, so let's get this out of the way quickly. Now I have my, my piggy bank. I'm gonna read my piggy bank. I, I mean not a piggy bank, my saving my saving time. Uh, I'm getting some of my, my money out of it. So um I need another volunteer. This time I'll... At least your hand came up straight away. Okay, come on, please. God wants us to be smart. What do you have to do, she asks. A simple task. I have... Oh, this is two, and I'm going to put it in one. I have made a hole in here, Ellie. And I have... Getting some money. We have to be smart, even with our money. <laughs> right, so, Ellie, I have a one P. Smart, right? I have to be smart, no, I don't want to give you all of my money. So, all I'm going to ask you to do is to put that coin through the hole. Can you do that? It goes through very easily. It goes through very easily. Yeah, not a problem. It goes through very easily. Okay, that's one P. So we come to church and we ask to give some um, some money, but one P is easy, the coins is easy, and we want to give that. But what if I give you two P? And it's be, no, it's double the amount she had before. Can you put it without tearing the paper? Can you push it through without tearing the paper? Can it go through? No? No, it can't go through. Can't go through. It's impossible, she says. But it's what I say is not impossible. You see, we just all we need to do is to give it to God and say, Lord, this is all I have to do. And give it to God. So can't go through, can it? No? Okay. So it hasn't gone through. Hasn't gone through, has it? Let's see if I can get this through. Did it go through? Yes. Yeah. So we don't need to worry about what it just give. Just give it to God and we have to be smart. Now I'm going to ask you something. I'm going to go a little bit of math. I'm a teacher, so I love teaching children. What do you call this part of the shape? The vertices, I thought you were going to tell me corners. I know you're, you're in year six? Seven? In the six days, I know, because in six they talk about vertices, in year one they talk about corners. Yeah. Right. So, if I give you this, and I say, you say this was a hundred pound, it's hard to give, and each corner is 25 pounds, right? It's hard to give away that much. But the Lord is asking you to give. Give what you get, what you have. Give. Don't worry about what you're going to worry. Oh, I can't give up almost a quarter of my money. So, if you just care of this quarter, um, I'm going to do it like this. I should have my scissors, but I don't have my scissors with me. So, if I take off it, bit, right, and let me help you. So, you have. 25, they've given us 25. Now, how many corners do I have? Three. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Five. You give, and she gets one more. So, what if she gives me another corner? What is going to happen? You get more. Yeah, because you give God. So, I'm going to pretend it's that corner you have. You give me that corner. How many do I have now? One. Two, three, four, five, six. The more you give, the more you yes. the more you give, the more you yes. get. And now I have given some more corners. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
And if the more you give, the more you get reward. You have to be what? Smart. Smart. Thank you. Let's see what I what I have here. You can keep that twenty-five pounds. <laughs> so the Bible in James three verse seventeen says, "But the wisdom from above is first of all pure. It is also peace-loving. It is gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and good deeds. It shows." No favoritism. And I think children, you learn about that today in uh, this week with Abigail. The story of Abigail. And if you haven't learned know about that story, read it. Um, ask the parents to help you read that. Now, coming on to the end, time is going to have five minutes more. Um, we need to be supportive as a family. Psalms 133, verse 1 says, How good and pleasant it is to dwell in unity. And I like the unity at Chatham. So someone who knows one of these days I might come and join me. Um, now, I want some children to come and join me here. In, okay. Stand up, stand, stand up right here and hold hands for me. Hold hands. Hold hands. Yeah, everybody holding hands. Hold hands. Let me let me give you some space here. Hold hands and some of you can come up here. Let me give you some space. Come, come up here. Okay, turn, turn, turn up. You to the side. Right. Stay right there and hold hands. Yeah. Keep going. Just make it a small circle. We don't have enough space, but you can stay down there. Yeah. Hold, 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 hold hands. No. We need everybody to be together. You come on. You come over this side, and you come to this side here for me. Right, so let me, let me go in front and you are there. We're going to show you what happened with unity. So holding hands and you have to hold hands. Everyone meet form a circle for me. Let me put this away. Form a circle. Yes, that's it. Now, um, yeah, let him in, let him in. Now, what will happen? I'm going to join this circle. Make sure you're holding hands. Make sure you're holding hands and um, you're going to let go. And I'm going to hold hands. And now the circle is broken and not connected. Because there's no unity. There's no unity here. Now, this is my light. And I can't shine my light if I'm not joined together with my family. And I can't really say much. It's not going to make sound any way to me. Because... It should be that we are together. No. Hold hands, don't let go. All I'm going to, no, you don't hold hands. All I'm going to ask you to do is to hold the end of this. You can do that, okay. Oh, you, you almost. You, you hold hands. You, you hold hands, you have to hold hands. Okay, now, I hold in it. But nothing is happening. Nothing much is happening. Okay, hold my hand. Hold my hand. Oh. Okay. I can tell if somebody let go of let go of their hand. Anybody let go of their hand? See? Somebody's not in anything together. If you let go of the family, if you're not united, that will happen. There's no light shining, there's no sun coming from us. Because we need to be. United. The power of God is working in everybody when we are together, yes? That's why we need to be together, we need to be united. Thank you very much, children. Uh, and before you go, I have a special gift for you. You can all have one of my gifts, so you can have that one. You can have that one. Okay, go, uh, go. As you get yours, you go down. Get yours, you go down. You can jump down, jump down. Yep. Right. See, more, more, yep. One. Let's go. Yep. Yep. Yep, I'm going to give you this one. This one. And this. A 
I'm bringing a special one for you. Okay. The rest of you can see me after I might have something special. So we need to be together and united. We can't be aware. And when I say united, church, when I say united, I'm not talking about just coming together. I'm talking about the children, which is what I have seen here and love it. The children are all together. I can see children all over. We are united. We don't think the children are too small or too big. But Finally, I want us to know, even though we are united and we are a supportive family, we need to be sensible. We need to make the right decision. We need to make the right decision. And this is where you come in. All of us need to make a decision today. All of us need to make a decision. What is your life going to be? What are you going to do from here? Now you see, we have all sin. All have sin. And it doesn't matter how big or small, this is a simple world, we have all sin. Some of us might have some little sin which is not that very bright. And we think, oh, nobody knows, it might be a little lie, a little white lie we tell no one then. And it might be that, you know what, I only pick up one of the sweets, I didn't do everything. But we have done a little lie, we think it's nothing much. But what we have to do with that lie, we have to take it to Jesus. We have to bring it all our sins to Jesus. And when we bring them to Jesus, we can rest assured that he is going to take it. And what did he say about when, when he takes our sin, he put it to death? Yes. Utmost, far, far, end, and he's totally forgiven us. Some of us might have our sins a little bit more. Some things we have done in the past, which is really burdening us adults and children. We think, there's no way I can get over this. There's no way God is going to um, forgive me for this. It's so bad. You know, how can I come to church? How can I give him my heart? All we will have to do is to take it to Jesus. Give it to him. To Jesus, take my sin and take it away. Help me to live again. See, some of us have some even bad sin. And on here I have some written jealousy, lies, cursing, gossip, anger, steal, kill. All those sins that we think no way that Jesus can forgive us. He wants us to do what? Take it to him and say, Lord, take my sins and take them away. I don't want those anymore. Help me, forgive me, and help me. And he says, just do that. Because when you take your sin to him and he gets you and he takes them, puts them in, he gives you, he gives you new life. He gives you new life. And in a, getting a new life is not just getting a new life with the same old sin. He makes us new. Really new. What I, I mean by that. I'll show you what I mean by that. He makes us so new that we don't have to worry about the past. He makes us so new that he forgets totally the past. And he says... Come to me as you are. And I will make you. New and clean. I will forgive you. Of all. Your sins. And. You don't have to worry. Your sins. Will be made whole. I know what you're thinking. Oh yeah, he just put them in here and here's what to be on. So No, if Jesus really forgive you. I mean, I'm demonstrating this for you and you think, oh that's magic. Remember I said I do not do magic. And it's about what you're thinking and how you think. Perspective. So I don't do magic. 
There's nothing in here. We really made it new. And you might be thinking, oh, it's him, Nothing. He really makes you new. He really makes your sin go away. He really forgives your sin. He forgives your sin and says, sin no more. But for you to do that, you have to be trusting him. You have to have faith in Jesus. And finally, what does that faith look like? I need another volunteer. Another volunteer. Who really thinks that you're going to come? I, I will never get a team. I need a team. Because I want a team to make a decision. Any team who wants to come? Any team? You know you want to come. You know you want to come. Come on, I know you want to come. She's going to help to demonstrate faith. Come on, stand beside me here. What's your name? Anna. Hello, Anna. You have grown up so much. Ah. I remember her when she was before she was born. I remember, no, I remember when she was very young. Uh, your father and I grew up at Brixton. This is Pastor Lois's daughter, right? And we grew up together at Brixton. So good to see you. Anyway, Hannah, I know. Um, nice hairstyle. Mom, I'll make sure I take you off her hairstyle for her. But I'm because I want to watch you. Do you really trust me? You're sure? Very sure? Because this is what we have to be sure. When we say we give Jesus our all and we trust Jesus, we have to really trust Jesus. We have to give him. And I'm going to demonstrate this, what trust really is. So, I'm going to ask you to face the congregation. And I have two cups here. Right? Two cups. I'm going to ask you to hold your hand out. Yeah. I'm going to give you these two cups, hold them like that. She's trusting me because she really trusts me. And if we're going to give her all, and this is what I want you to leave here today, making sure you trust in Jesus, no matter what. I'm going to pour some water in both cups. I'm not gonna have it to a hand circuit, I'm gonna have it. Alright, so um let me help you off the cup this cup. Right. So you're going to do as I do. Trust me? You sure? Everything I say you'll do. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask you to do as I do. I'm gonna demonstrate it to you. Hold your hand out, and then I'm going to lift the cup. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. I'm going to show you what to do. I'm going to put the cup on your head. Hold it like this. Close your eyes, and then you're going to just spin around, <laughs> and then put your hand out, and then I give you some more instruction afterwards. Okay? So she says she trusts me. Do you trust Jesus? He's just giving me a simple instruction. Was that easy? Instruction. So he's saying, give him your heart today. That's what Jesus is saying. So I'm going to ask you to come up. And you you have to be in participation in this because you're going to be very observant. Put it on top of your head. Close your eyes. No, hold it up. Hold, hold, hold it up. <laughs> right? Um, so you put it on top of your head. Close your eyes. Right, not looking. Spin around. Right, and then hold your hand out. Now open your eyes, hold your hand out. And you're going to do exactly what I'm going to show you the next set of instructions, right? And because I don't want, it's up to you. I can cover your head with this so. The water doesn't get into your hair, or you can do it without which one you want to do. Did she say she trusts me? <laughs> Did she say she trusts me? You see, that's, that's, that's where we start already. Already, she's doubting. She, no, I, no, I'm not so sure I want to cover. All right. You know, I said, okay, I'll give you a bit of. Hold your hand out, hold your hand out, stay down, let go. So I put this over you, and over your head, so it's there. What I want you to do, and I'm going to give you the instruction, 
is to with me and we're gonna count to three. You're gonna yeah. lift your hand and just pour it over your head. Right? Ready? Can I move this icing water at all? You sure? You sure? Are you sure? I don't want to start up here. Believe me. <laughs> so after two, one, two, three, let's go. Let's see if any water came out. Thank you very much. And I'll, I'll give you, give you um, a particular shot. So, did she need this? No, no but she don't. Think. She still have a bit of fear. Come on, we are all human. That happened to us. But the Lord is saying, give your all. Trust me with whatever you have. He reminds us that you are special. You are fearfully and wonderful, wonderfully made. He reminds you, he gives you strength to do whatever you can. He says you are smarter than you think. He says you are part of a supportive family. And he just wants you to be sensible to make that decision to trust him. Will you trust him today? If you want to trust him today, will you stand with me? If you want to say, Lord, take my life and let it be. Stand with me. Let us pray. Eternal Father God, we thank you for your words. We thank you for the demonstration that you have allowed us to see that to show that our life can be more than we think. To realize that we can trust you totally. It doesn't matter how small or how big we are as long as we give our all to you. Help us to always trust you in good times and in bad times. We pray for all the children here today, for all that they have learned through this week at uh, BBS. May the message of strength resonate with them as they go back to school in another week. That they will not fear the exams, they will not fear the challenges, they will not fear any bully because they know they have a mighty God who is with them at all times. We thank you for the adults and the parents here. The struggles are real, Lord. We hear of the crisis and energy with energy and bills and all that, but help us to live knowing that you are in charge of everything. And with you, all things are possible. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for your words and help us to continue to trust you and to give you our all. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Um, we have a dozen The theme song Treasured by God. If you may stand in, that will be our closing song, Treasured by God.
So now, as we leave here today, we ask the Lord to let His face shine upon us. May we leave here with a fire burning in our hearts. May we go knowing that we are strong, we are special, we are powerful, we are unique. Knowing that you have already forgiven us. Lord, we thank you for your words. May we have a very pleasant rest of today. May you continue to bless the children and all who are here. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.